Welcome to problem number 21 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we've got an astronaut that's dropping a rock off the edge of a cliff on the moon. Uh, the distance, d of t in meters, the rock travels after t seconds can be modeled by this function. What is the average speed in meters per second of the rock between 5 and 10 seconds after it was dropped? Let's kind of create a table of values here to kind of help us out. Uh, so we've got time and then distance travels. And um, so let's find out what happens after 5 seconds. Let's see how far it's traveled. So d of t is going to be 0 0.8 times t squared. In this case, t is equal to 5. And then we're also going to look at when time is 10 seconds. That would be 0 0.8 times 10 squared. So 0 0.8 times 25 should get you 20, and then 0 0.8 times 100 is 80. So let's think about what this means. Um, between 5 and 10 seconds, it traveled from 20 meters to 80 meters, which is a total distance of 60 meters traveled in 10 or 5 seconds but we want to find the average speed in meters per second. Uh, what that means is we'll have to divide both of these by 5, and then we would get 12 meters per 1 second. It's kind of like turning it into a unit rate. You may have also seen it like this, 60 meters per 5 seconds, and that would become 12 meters per second. And so it looks like that means our solution is option number one. All right, I hope that made sense. Um, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.